all seen Bond movies and fantasized about driving around in fast cars, seducing hot foreign chicks in Monte Carlo, and taking out Russian arms dealers with a single clothespin. But if you want to be a real secret agent, it's a long, complicated process. Boring! So today we're going to show you how to work your way into the high stakes world of international espionage. This is Epic How To. Epic How To. So you want to be a secret agent? Your first step is to decide what kind of secret agent you want to be. Now, when people talk about secret agents, they're technically referring to CIA operations officers. These are your classic spies who work in foreign countries recruiting informants who are willing to spill valuable intel to the US government. But there are other kinds of spies. Some work for private intelligence firms that specialize in things like corporate espionage. Boring! They're hired by corporate giants to root around in file cabinets late at night, guard against security breaches, and keep a keen eye on competition. Man, Sony could have used a couple of those guys. Idiots! But there are also, shall we say, less conventional ways into the world of international espionage. Take for example the case of James Costa, a troubled but brilliant kid who started hacking at the age of 12. By 13, Costa had hacked into massive corporate systems like IBM, GE, and a slew of major banks in order to commit electronic theft. But the jig was up the following year when a swarm of feds with submachine guns barged into his bedroom and arrested him. But after spending a year in juvie awaiting trial, the judge mysteriously released Costa, under the condition that he join the military as soon as he was eligible. He agreed, and after two years in the Navy, he was recruited by the CIA at just 20 years old. Not a bad deal for a juvenile felon. But let's say you're not a preteen hacking prodigy and you'd rather not work for the corporate bigwigs of the world. You want to be a legit CIA operations officer. Then you move on to step two. Don't do anything bad your whole life. Sounds ridiculous, right? Maybe, but we're not talking about rushing a fraternity here. We're talking about gaining entry into the most secretive elite organization in the United States. And they're the CIA, which means that by the time they hire you, they're going to know everything you've done since the doctor slapped you on the ass and cut your umbilical cord. Stole a Batman t-shirt when you were 13? Probably not a deal breaker, but things like a DUI or fudging your taxes will disqualify you entirely. So will being a non-US citizen and being over 35. So don't be old or foreign. But if you're squeaky clean and still a relative youngster, move on to step three. Acquire a very particular set of skills. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> there are a few qualifications that will make you stand out as a CIA wannabe. First of all, a bachelor's degree is mandatory with a graduation GPA of at least 3.0. Be strategic when picking your major. Studying things like international relations, psychology, computer science, or chemical engineering will give you a leg up for sure. Other items in the plus column are military experience, having lived in countries where the CIA has ongoing operations, and not looking or sounding American. Okay, so you're a great candidate on paper, but step four is what separates the wannabes from the pros. Develop your soft skills. Soft skills or street smarts are absolutely vital to spy work. You'll need to know intuitively who you can trust and who you can't, how to lie through your teeth, and how to get people to risk parting ways with their own head in order to give you top secret tip-offs. If your people skills need a little bit of work, try reading books on body language and psychology. Or if you're really committed and kind of a sociopath, practice lying just to see if you can get away with it. Just don't try it with the CIA because that's counterintuitive to what you're trying to do. So you put in the work and now you're a CIA shoe in You're ready for step five, submit your application. Pretty simple, just go to CIA.gov and apply online. Is that it? Step six, once you've applied to the CIA, do not tell anyone that you've applied to the CIA. The CIA will find out if you babbled to anyone and they'll just kick you to the curb. And then you wouldn't get to do step seven, which is right now. Don't try to hide anything. In addition to submitting to an insanely detailed background check, you're going to sit through hours and hours of lie detector tests, psychological and physical assessments, and countless interviews. On average, the CIA takes an entire year to review an applicant before they make a job offer. Oh, and they're gonna spy on you. Prepare to have your phone tapped, your email hacked, and your web search history on display. And if you happen to notice an ominous black Escalade tailing you to the grocery store, chill out and don't nervously wreck into a guardrail. All right, so you ace the hiring process with flying colors and congratulations, 007, you're in. Go out and celebrate with a martini, shaken, not stirred. Just be sure to not drunk dial your mom, significant other, or anyone else to brag about your super cool new job. As far as they're concerned, you're just a low-level government employee. Step 10, be a secret agent. The good news, 
you're a badass spy now. The bad news, it might be a little less glamorous than you hoped. Your starting salary will be somewhere around 70 grand. So hold off on buying that custom painted Jaguar and tailored Hugo Boss tux. You uh, might also want to hold off on starting a family or ever having one because you'll need to constantly lie to them about who you are and what you're doing. But your personal life will be taking a serious backseat during training. You'll spend the first couple years at CIA headquarters in Langley, Virginia and Camp Peary, AKA the farm a nearby training facility where you'll learn physical and practical skills for the job. It's a grueling and secretive process, but since you'll be expected not to crack if an enemy should ever capture and interrogate you, chances are you'll get first-hand training in things like waterboarding. Fun! Once you're on assignment doing real field work in foreign nations, the job is more about surveillance and relationship building than roundhouse kicking and car chases. You're gonna spend countless hours viewing surveillance footage, staking out shady characters, and reporting to CIA headquarters. Ugh. And if you succeed in bringing down a terrorist overlord, don't expect to come home to a press conference and a medal. No parades for you. Complete anonymity is what you signed up for, remember? Still, a career in the CIA will never be boring. And who knows, maybe you'll single-handedly prevent a nuclear holocaust someday. Well, that's it for this episode, gang, but leave a comment below and tell us what you'd like to learn to do next. Until then, this has been Epic How To. Let us know what topic you guys think we should break down next in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.